the sun peeking through the trees at dawn as the woods come alive. The sights and smells of fall as you walk to your tree stand. The thunder of a turkey gobble. The crunching of leaves as a deer approaches. Finding the shed of a buck you've been chasing for years. The mixed feelings we have after harvesting an animal. This is hunting. Well, my goal today was really actually to go on a whitetail hunt, but temps are again in the 90s. It's unbelievable. October 5th, and it is 90, it was 94 degrees, I think, on the ride here. So I'm back at the Hagman, but that's okay. I needed kind of one full last day to scout, and uh, I'm, my mission is really to attack a couple areas that I found sign previously. Right behind me here is a water hole, you see, um, that's getting hit really hard um, by pigs, by deer. It's just, um, it's a really good location. It's, it's right off the main walking trail, so I won't be hunting this water hole, most likely, because it's easy access for other guys. But um, behind me, about 100 yards in, is where I found uh, some really good rubs old rubs from last season. Um, so I'm gonna get, head back in here, see if there's any uh, fresh rubs, uh, since we're into fall now a little bit, and uh, the bucks are out of velvet. So gonna do some walking around here, and then I'm gonna head over and do some glassing tonight on a swamp bottom that um, I've been kind of keen in on for my first hunt. So back out here at the Hagerman, I'm gonna take a hike in here and see if I can find some rubs. No buck sign at that last spot. So I drove to a different area here, the Hagerman. Behind me is a uh, crop field. No crops in it right now that I know of. Um, and then all the way around, scanned to my left, is a swamp. And so I've just been doing some glassing. Uh, it's not quite, not quite um, dusk yet, so um, just kind of glassing to see maybe if I can catch a buck bedded. Uh, in in one of these swamps down here, just catch a glimpse of a of a of a mature deer. But um, just been spending a couple minutes here. Going to spend a couple more, just kind of glassing this this swamp bottom here, just to see what I can see. It's an area that's not on the top of my list, but it's it's definitely one of my top five or six. Um, hunting deeper into the swamp along uh, along the edge uh, along the edge where the the hardwood meets the, the swamp. So. We'll see, I don't know if I'm gonna see anything here, but just uh, another spot to kind of check out as I get closer to November. All right, so I'm gonna sneak up this trail right here. It's gonna take me to the top. I can then glass down into the swamp and thinking about hunting the first day. Hopefully I can catch a buck maybe coming out of his bed tonight. Get some action, we'll see. Guys, finally, I get to see a mature buck. I was glassing out over this field behind me here. <laughs> and he popped up literally 50 yards from me, staring at me. 
I love to have them in the binoculars for like, I don't know, two minutes. You know, and they even stare down real wide. Real wide buck. Really, really nice buck. Ten pointer. And uh, I didn't, I couldn't hit record on the camera to get footage of him, but he was literally right in front of the camera. I just couldn't hit record. So, successful. Where I wanted to come. This was where I was shooting for. The first day it just felt good. The sign felt good. I watched that buck go back down into the creek bottom, so I know where he's at. So, less than 30 days away from opening at the Hagman here. Now I'm really pumped.